Right, so quick video of a mouse trap. But first of all, I just wanted to say, if people's wondering, um, you might have noticed I haven't been doing as many videos lately as what I had been doing before. But that's because I've got loads of ideas, but none of the materials to make any of these things. So I had to order some stuff and wait for it to arrive. So I've got some new stronger springs. Some of these old um, hook and eye assortment. And a load of washers. I should just about have enough wood to carry on, but that's what I've been waiting for, stuff like that. You know, I've got loads of ideas, but you can't do it. So this trap, this is basically all you need here. And it's called the Kent and Field Garden Mousetrap. That's from a book where you could find online. And the book is called The Balance of Nature and Modern Conditions of Cultivation by George Abbey. Now I found this on a, on a website called Chest of Books. Now, there's not really any trap books on there. It just happens to be just one. Yeah, so The Balance of Nature and Modern Conditions of Cultivation. Georgia Abbey and like I said it's called the Kent and Field Garden Mousetrap so I'll read it out to you basically what it says in your small section and actually I'll show you a picture of it now as well right so the Kent and Field Garden Mousetrap is a very old contrivance to form it Provide two bricks and a piece of wire about as stout as a knitting needle and two inches long. So two bricks. Now, what I got here is a nail, but I've flattened one end right off. And that's just under two inches, so that should do it. So a nail, but that's been flattened off there. The two bricks, and I've got a little bit of bait there. So what it says is, so, so place one brick on end and the other flat. So one on end and one flat, like that. It says this one can either be like that or narrow face. It says make a point of doing this. Um, make a point of placing the bricks this way, thus indicating the exact distance at which one brick sh one brick should be from the other when set up, so that when the brick falls, it will be in the position represented, leaving no space for the mouse to escape, as if it is set too close or too far back, it will escape. So you put it in this position already, then you know that when this is propped up and it falls, it should fall in just the right place. It says now, run the prop, which is this part, through a bean or a pea and place the wire thus baited in a slanting direction. For the slightest touch to move it. When down comes the brick. Take care in setting the prop. That it may fall. No that it may not have all the weight. Of the brick. Otherwise it will press so tightly. The other brick will not fall with the touch of a mouse. Where there is a wall indoors. Only one brick is required. A handyman will set up a score of such traps in five minutes and when baited with suitable substances they form first rate sparrow or other bird traps. Alright, I'm going to change the camera around a little bit so you can see this better. Well, hopefully when I set this up you can see it. This is getting in a good position to see this. So, I've got my bait. I'm going to run that through our prop. So there it is like that. Hopefully this is all focusing. 
Now, we know that this will land correctly. I don't even want to lift it up and place your prop in there somewhere. Slightly awkward this angle. Now essentially, I think that's it done. You'll see that's slightly better now from that position. So that's it propped in there. That's exactly how you'd have it. Now, like it says, if you've got a wall there, you only need one brick. And then, I'll see if I can find some light to set this off if I've got something. And then, when a mouse comes to touch this bait, actually that came out very quick, but it just got caught on the other side there, but that came away very easily. I'll set it up again because the stick got caught between it. But that only took the lightest touch. It only took a light touch to set that off. Yeah. I reckon that would actually work as a mouse trap proper. Definitely that would work as a mouse trap. A very light touch to set that off. Doesn't take much at all. You would think that that would really cling on hard, but it doesn't. Yeah, so that was the Kent Field and Garden Mouse Trap using two bricks, a nail. It says the wire's got to be as stout as a knitting needle, so a nail will definitely do it. Two inch nail, end flattened off. Now, I would definitely flatten the end off because if you don't, the point will probably dig right in. You might think a point might be better. But I think rounded ends would actually be better with this one. Yeah, so that seems like a pretty decent trap considering. Very another old, really old one as well. If I can find out the date of that book, I'll put it in the description or something. 